everyone is as scared as you are. <laughs> like just go up to someone, say your name, say where you're studying and everything, and you might make your best friends here. I have joined actually 10 societies. 10? <laughs> 10? Yes. So we're back at Trinity College Dublin and today we'll be asking the first year students a couple of questions in order to help those of you guys that want to enter university or college, depending on where you are from. So you get the feel of how it is to be a first year at university. It's already been one month since the first year started the course. We'll be able to get some conclusions about how it's going to be, the change that is going to be in your life and the thoughts that first year students have one month after having started their course. So let's just go and ask the students. But first, thanks to Coro for sponsoring this video. We'll be giving some of their healthy snacks to the students in the review. More on them later. Asking Trinity College Dublin students. What is your name and what are you studying here at Trinity? Uh, my name's Luca, I'm studying BESS. My name is Stephanie and I'm doing Physical Sciences. Hi, my name's Agatha and I'm studying Joint Honours English and Religion. So my name is Alec Kualele and I am first year student studying Biomedical Sciences. My name is Sumaya Zaman and I'm first year doing biomedical science in Trinity College. So we're going to be asking you a few questions about first year, how you're finding it so far. It's raining so bad in Dublin today. I don't even know why we had to record today. We have no more time. Yeah, every single day is like this. What made you choose this university? The most prestigious one here in, in Ireland, right? To get a graduation, to come out of Trinity, it's, it, it's big. But the thing is, actually, a big passion of mine, it's not related to um, college and stuff, it's uh, wrestling, because I, I wrestle. And I had the opportunity to, to do both here, you know, coming here, train and study, so I got the best of both worlds, and I'm really enjoying it so far, and training is, is great, man. It's awesome. <laughs> You're selling it really well. Yeah, yeah, it's really great, it's really great. I wanted to get out of Bucharest, <laughs> so I heard a lot of good things about Trinity, and that was basically the reason. Uh, well, for my course in religion, it's the only university in Ireland that has it. And uh, I also just wanted to come to Dublin because I really liked it. And Trinity was just an amazing university, especially for English course. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, the English course is like so highly rated. I know, yeah. I know. It's like, you know ranked... it's like 50, I think it's in the top 50 in the world. Yeah, I think it's top 20 even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's so good, yeah. so good. A globally known a university and it's known for its, you know, academia and just a culture that revolves around it and many like good networks and world-renowned, you know, individuals skilled and knowledge in their area. So I suppose that kind of really sparked an interest in me in applying to this university. Oh, well, that's an easy question because like since when I was younger, I've always wanted to go to Trinity College. It's like my dream. History, uh, the cultures, and then the diversity in the college. That's why I have always wanted to do like anything STEM in the college. That's why I'm here. Really glad to be here. So international. No. We're from all, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times have you gone out this freshers week? Not as often as I wanted to, actually. I, I went out like more during the later weeks. Uh, fresher weeks, I just was to, here to the uh, freshers fair and Probably went clubbing like twice. Twice? Yeah. yeah. Twice it's pretty good. Yeah, but seven days, only twice. I don't know about that, but we'll make up for it. No worries, no worries. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. You have yeah, to get yeah. a, into the actual routine and everything, so everything's new. So then you can get more into the partying. And we will, we will. Unfortunately, just once, but I'm planning on doing it more <laughs> from now. And I was a little bit scared to go alone, so. Yeah. Of course, I, I, I found some friends now, so we will go out. Now we're more frequent, yeah, yeah. Pressure's week? Yeah, the, the first week, the okay. first week of classes that you had. I think every day. Every day, nah. I'm not, but Are you I serious? I didn't go out till like really late. I just like. To like pops and something. Yeah, like, pops. Not, not too like, late. At the club, like, I think once. But Pressure's week, like, I went out for drinks every day, I think. Damn. It was really. That's a good Pressure's week. <laughs> yeah. That's a good Pressure's week indeed. I'll be completely honest. I can eat every day, so. So yeah, it was and impossible. I, it was very no, it was yeah. very like inconvenient for me to go out at night, but yeah, I joined some few societies and yeah, I yeah, kind of slowly stuff, getting yeah. into it. I went to the pub once, Ooh. if I'm being honest, because like I don't drink or like yeah. doing the parties, but I went out with my friends like seven days on the first week of the pressure sphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so really intense yeah. as well. What advice would you give to people that are about to start college? Um, I'd say just talk to people. Like it can seem really intimidating and like awkward at first, but like everyone's in this together, you know, and like just go up to someone, say your name, say where you're studying and everything, and you might make like your best, like make your best friends here. So. Yeah, literally, like no one knows anyone. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, say hello. Like, every and... time I go up to someone, I'm always like, I don't want to do this. And then I do, and then it's fine. So yeah. that would be my advice, I guess. Go with the flow. You know, everything's new. As it is for me as well. Uh, you just got to get used to it. It's going to be hard. I remember when I came here first day, it was, uh, it was tough because you need to organize yourself. Uh, you're all by yourself. You're all alone, you know. Um, so just, you know, don't, don't you know, when, when you get knocked down, 
it's easy to say it, but, you know, just stand up and, you know, go through whatever happens during the day, live day by day and just, you know, enjoy it because that's why we're here. These are probably the best years of our lives. So just enjoy it as much as we can. Um, I would say that everyone is as scared as you are. <laughs> that's what I'm talking with all of my friends. Like we are all so scared. It's getting easier with each day. <laughs> yeah, not be afraid about it. Yes, it is. Well, it's not that much. You're, you're going to work more. You have more time. It's they're just different. And it's yeah. even, I, I prefer it actually, like the lifestyle and everything. I'm not um, already used to all the university stuff, but yeah. I like it. It's, it's going to be a new raw experience. So I think you should just go with it and honestly just take it all in because it's all part of the experience. That way you're able to kind of learn as a student and as a person. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'd say be more open to everyone because there's people here to help you. If you go to the college for the first time, you'll be nervous. It's normal. But I'd say like talk to people and make friends and then college is fun, you know, and then you're going to be very, very happy all the way through your course. And yeah. How are you finding the transition from high school to college? I'm really enjoying it, actually. I thought it was going to be um, tougher. You know, of course, it's different because you're alone, you do your stuff, you go back home and, 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 and that's that. Because in high school, you know, you have your classmates and stuff. So it's a bit different, but I'm getting used to it. So, yeah, I wouldn't say there are many differences. Yeah, it's more the, the environment, the new yeah, environment yeah, than yeah, the actual yeah. classes. For me it's hard with the English language but I'm getting used to it so it's pretty nice actually to find uh, ways to talk to people, different ways from what, I, uh, yeah. what I'm used to. Different ways of socializing maybe? Yeah, of... It's, it's uh, every day something new so uh, like the people in lectures I always see someone that I, I feel like I haven't seen them already. <laughs> Literally there's so <laughs> many people. third week already so. There's people I don't even know, and we've already been like Second two years. Year, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is still happening. Year. Yeah, yeah, no, it happens. It'll happen forever. You'll end up like graduating, and you won't even know who that guy is. Well, at first, I was really happy that I only had about like 10 hours in my schedule. And then I realized that I had like 20 pages to read for each lecture. That was kind of scary. But other than that, uh, it's been good. Just like everything was kind of going on really fast and kind of stressful, overwhelming at the start. But now it's good. Like, I like my life here. I was expecting it to be a lot more like challenging, but I kind of like it in the sense that there's a practical element to it now. Like, there's a lot of introduced labs and a lot of continuous assessment. In secondary school, everything will be solely based on one exam at the end of the year. Rather than in Trinity, they actually have many areas where like it can be continuous assessment exams. That kind of alleviates the pressure that's you know put on students and makes them well-rounded students overall. So yeah. Yeah. I really like that as well yeah. for Trinity. Yeah. To be honest with you, the first week it was a bit like overwhelming for me, but like now it's a, a second week is better than the first week. It's, it's a lot. Better. It's a lot to a lot digest to and digest, to... Yeah. For the first week, like you don't know what's going on, where to go. It could be uh, very weird at the same time, the timetables, I know. You will all get used to it, like, it's just... Yeah, a matter of time. Yeah. Have you joined any clubs or societies? And if so, why? I joined two societies, but I'm planning on joining more. I joined the Italian society, of course. Of course. Because, you know, I wanted to meet Italian people here, but I couldn't find them. So I, I, I just figured out, yeah, I mean... Really? Only the, only the guys from the society and, like, two guys and a girl, I think. No way. Outside of the society, yeah. Really? But you know, any Italian. In our course, we have like two or three? I mean, Whoa. let me meet them. Well, I'll, I'll let you yeah. meet them. <laughs> Just, you know, to have fun and hang around people and talk in, and you know, speak in Italian because I'm not used to it anymore. And I joined the Food and Drink Society. Ooh. I'm planning on joining other societies, but I'm, I'm still trying to figure out which ones? Yeah, physics society, space society, yeah. the basic stuff with the physical sciences, but I'm yeah. planning on doing some more things from what I've heard from my friends, like the French. I heard they do like cheese and wine things. Oh, so that sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, I joined the boxing society. Ooh. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. The coach is so, I mean, I don't understand half of what he's saying because his accent is just really strong. Very Irish. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's really fun. And I also joined the German one and the literary society. Oh, damn. damn, those are diverse, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to like get into my German speaking, like doing it in school and then I kind of like stopped. So yeah, you know. oh, same as me. Yeah, I wanted to go back to it. Yeah. Did you study German as well? Uh, no, but I was little, really little. Like I only can say I have a hund and that's it. I have a dog. That's the only thing I can say. Okay. So I joined the TCD Afro and Caribbean Society because I'm Nigerian and Irish. It's like kind of being at home. And also the dance society. I'm also a professional um, Irish dancer. So oh, yeah, so, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So <laughs> I have joined actually ten societies. Ten. <laughs> ten. Yes. 
Really? Uh, the first one was basketball because I've been playing basketball since I was really? in secondary school. I played nine years in Spain. Oh, yeah, I love it. I, I love also, it. And also I joined the uh, badminton society because I've been playing badminton since I was really young with my cousins and also my classmates. I also joined the art society. I love doing pottery. I love painting as well. And also I joined the knitting society because I'm a knitter. I made this myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah! <laughs> I know! I also joined the South Asian Society because I'm from South Asia. And at the same time, I also joined the Biomed Society. Yeah. But there's like more. I yeah, you said 10, so it has to be way more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a lot of society. Wow! For being so nice to answer the questions, we're gonna give you this from Coro. Thank so, you. here you go. We're gonna be giving you a snack. A taste test. Yeah, taste test. He's gonna be giving us our uh, score out of Cinque Palle, which is five points. So, you do your magic, bro. Yeah. yeah. Everyone keep saying it, that this thing is delicious. Because um, it is. Let's go for it. Mmm. Yeah. The texture is great. The flavor and everything, everything that goes with it, it's so, it's so good. Cinque palle, man. Cinque. Cinque palle. Ooh, cinque palle. Thank you all guys for watching this video and thanks to Coro for sponsoring this video. Once again, if you want to get some for yourself, you can get a 5% discount using code Mario Trinity. Once again, yeah, thank you to Coro for doing this. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> no, no, for real. No, they, I heard it was really good. I haven't even tried it. Okay, so that's it. Are you still filming?